guys, I am back today with another cooking video. Now the reason that I love to do these is because I want to show you guys that you can make snacks or lunches to last you a week's time or more. This is going to be a really simple basic one. I'm going to keep it really simple. I already have things prepared so we can just get right to it. It is going to be a bean corn and avocado salad. It is delicious, it will last you all week, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so for the first step, you are going to want to take a cup of tomatoes. Now, you can use basically any kind of tomatoes. This is a mixture of tomatoes that we have in our garden. I don't even know what breed of tomato they are. They're just a bunch of random different kind of like grape cherry type tomatoes. You're gonna have a teaspoon of salt. Now if you want, you can do this ahead of time, but what you're going to do at this point is you're going to take about half of the teaspoon, so ha one half of a teaspoon, and sprinkle the salt into the tomatoes. So that is going to leave about half a teaspoon of salt left. Right off the bat, you're just going to kind of mix it together, toss it around, and then this is going to sit on its own while you prepare the rest of the food. Over here, I have corn that is pre-cooked. I cooked it two days ago. At this point, I also have onion. You can grill the onion in the corn if you would like. I, however, don't want it grilled. I just wanted it boiled, cooked, whatever. So at this time, I am going to get the kernels off of the cob, and eventually that's going to be added to the tomatoes. And I'm also going to chop the white onion into small little pieces. Because at this point I want the tomatoes to sit on their own with the salt, I'm going to take these, you know, kernels that I cut and I'm just going to kind of break them apart into a separate bowl. corn it's gonna look about like this it doesn't have to be broken apart too perfectly because they're gonna continue to break apart as you are mixing together all of the ingredients in the end and now I'm going to move on to cutting up a white onion I took half an onion because I'm not a huge fan of onion but I'm gonna cut it into really 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 small pieces so that I don't necessarily notice it as much when I'm eating it but I still get the benefits that come from an onion onions are cut up. I'm just going to take those. The tomatoes have been sitting for about 10 minutes, so I'm going to take the onion and add it to the tomato mixture. Then I'm going to take the corn. I forgot to mention that I use three shucks of corn um, just because I like corn, so you can adjust it to whatever you like. Then you are going to go in with the remaining the remaining half teaspoon of salt, sprinkle it in. My eyes are watering because of the onions. Mix in one third cup of lime juice. I used actual limes. I didn't buy like the lime juice already prepared. Mix that in. Now here is where the bean mixture comes in. You are going to take 15 ounces of um, black beans. I use black beans that were already cooked for our, you know, weekly meals. So you do that, mix in the black beans. You also have a 15 ounce can of pinto beans with no salt added. Mix that in. And a 15 ounce can of kidney beans also with no salt added. You can adjust your beans to maybe whatever kind of beans you like or maybe use less of one than another. And I also forgot to mention that you want to add one tablespoon of olive oil. 
and then just mix it together with your hands or a spoon, whatever you prefer. I don't mind getting messy, so this is the method that we use. The last step is going to be to take two avocados, and I'm going to show you the way that we cut them in this house to make them, I don't know, easiest to deal with. You just cut it in an even half. That's, everybody knows that. Um, but then this is what we do in our house to make it easy. So you're going to take it and cut lines lengthwise into the avocado all the way to the shell. You're going to touch the knife with the shell. And then you're going to go back in and do it the opposite way to kind of create a cross pattern. And then this just makes it easier to have in the salad, to blend it to the salad, and also to scoop it out with a spoon. See, it comes out in little pieces like that that can easily be added, and that will be, you know, bite-sized pieces as you are eating your salad. And you're going to continue to do that with the other half. Again, you can move this, remove the seed easily with a spoon. You're going to do the other half of the avocado, and then you're going to do one more avocado after that. And then, of course, the final step is going to be to thoroughly mix your salad one last time. So this is complete. I'm going to end up throwing the bowl, cover it in aluminum foil, and throw it in the fridge before I end up eating it because I like it cold. Um, however, you can also grill the vegetables. You can grill the corn, the, um, the corn and the onion. You can also add jalapeno if you are somebody who likes spice. You can adjust the level of beans or the level of any ingredients that you so prefer. Like I may just go back and add more lime. And then I would highly suggest what I normally do is add in some fresh cilantro, but we are currently out and I have to go to the store to get it. So that's it. It's a quick, easy, affordable meal. It makes a ton, as you can see. This will last my family through the week and it will probably get eaten every day for lunch, as a snack, and possibly as a side for dinner. So I hope you guys like this. Please thumbs up this video and comment below if you like seeing these recipe videos, if they have kind of helped to open up your eyes to clean eating and put you on track for your goals. And share this video if you want to see more of them. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and I will see you later. Bye.